All right, guys, we're working on a 2012 Ford Edge with 62,000 miles on it. This customer recently bought this from the dealership, and the dealership agreed to repair some things to sell the vehicle to the customer. One of the things was the vent for the back seat in between the front and passenger seat. Replace that. Check. Fix for the customer. Another thing was they wanted the backup camera fixed. That's what this video was about. And what was the other thing? There was one more thing. Um, the plastic right here. Um, the plastic along the sunroof, uh, they needed that fixed as well, the little accordion strips. So what we're doing here is there's uh, four screws right at the end of this plastic. And then there's this cover right here. You don't have to pull it out, but I pulled it out so I could look inside to see if anything was attached right there. So you got four Phillips screws. Grab the bottom cover, pop it away. Grab the other side, pop it away. And then you got some clips around. And then you want to make sure, if you don't see any white clips come down with it, like right there and... Uh, on the other side, you want to take a trim tool or, you know, or a pair of like side cutters or something and just lightly grab them and pull those clips out of there and put them back in the plastic. What you're going to find here is I grabbed the wrong connector there and I am going to shut the camera off embarrassingly and show you the right connector because I'm trying to record and not paying attention. This is not what you want. That is the trunk of jar switch. What you want is actually across the top right here. There is... A bunch of 11 millimeter nuts that need to come off and as you run across you'll pull those off and then there's two plastic push wing clips on each end you'll grab a pair of pliers press them in push the assembly out and eventually it'll look something like this and now there's a rubber grommet that's got to be pulled through with a double connector on the inside so if you look over here to the other side you'll see there's two connectors on the back side that need to come undone and then you can pull the whole assembly off and then i'm going to show you a trick to actually get this camera out of here so you don't waste your time and waste money because to do this job, you actually have to break the emblem off the back of that panel assembly. You pretty much ruin it. You need to order a new emblem. You need to draw. You need to drill some kind of hole uh, back behind the emblem just to get to the camera area to access a screw to pull the camera out. It's unnecessary. You don't need to do any of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, uh, like a metal blade with a 14 TPI or 18 TPI. And you're just going to actually run it back and forth by hand. And you're just going to trim right along the actual spot that sets up against the camera and holds it in place. So trim against it, let it fall back, fall out of there, whatever you want. It's just real lightly, just back and forth, just by hand. It doesn't take very much effort. The camera comes loose. Then you're going to slide the camera out of there. You're going to finagle it out of there. It will come out. Trust me, you'll get it. And then when you go to put the new camera back in, you're going to set everything back in. Then you're going to grab some JB Weld or you're going to grab some... Um, uh, crazy glue and you're going to actually glue the tab back in there and then you're going to put some jb weld on top of the crazy glue or you can just do straight jb weld like i did in this picture here so i got it out i'm going to pop the new one in then once i pop the new one in you're going to see the material that i use to secure everything it's going to be a nice clean very secure job new cameras in now what we're going to do is we're actually going to mix up a little jb weld putty over here on the side where you can't see what's going on because i don't want you to see Right? Because I'm trying to hide it, right? No, I'm actually not. I'm being honest with you guys. This is the best way, the fastest way to do it. JB Weld that tab back in place so you're not destroying that whole back. I've seen guys literally snap these in two. Here's the directions that say to basically remove the emblem and it's garbage at that point. You need to replace the emblem with a new emblem and then you got to drill a hole in the back through it just to get to the spot, to get to the camera, to get it out. No. I'd rather just cut that little anchor tab out, glue it back in with some JB Weld. It'll never come back out again. And this is just basically me pointing and talking like a crazy man, telling you uh, about all the, the things that don't make sense about this whole situation. And then there's all these additional steps that make absolutely zero sense. So this is like the easiest way to actually do this job in a secured fashion to get you the great results that I'm always going to get you, right? So that's where we're at. I'm talking with my hands. I don't know why, but we're going to move forward from here. Actually get into the computer on the programming side. Um, I'm used to doing newer vehicles on a 2012. And a newer vehicle, you would go into something called Lin Module Initialization. But on this, it's actually rear vehicle camera or something like that alignment. So I'm going to act like a crazy person here. I'm going to flip around to these different options in the computer to initialize this camera. And it's that bottom one right there that I missed, RVC configuration, rear vehicle camera configuration. And that's in, um, what is the body? Up here and then all the way in the bottom right there. RVC configuration. Go in there, um, go in the, 
I don't know why I'm still missing it. It's right in front of my face. Probably because I'm lost right there. There we go. Rear, rear vehicle camera uh, configuration. This uh, this guy finally got uh, with the program. Dummy. Anyhow, uh, hit yes. This is what I want to do. I want to program. Yes, the key is on. And it'll say, okay, here we've verified your part number. Everything's configured. Now you can actually clear codes, get in the vehicle, put it in reverse, and actually make sure everything works. And it worked absolutely beautifully. The backup sensors, everything. Image was good. No issues there at all. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for taking the time to uh, at least let this Yahoo entertain you with installing this camera. And I hope this has been somewhat helpful to you. There you go, lines and everything. Good job, good job. Had a boy, pat him on the back sometimes, right? That's how it works. And it will actually not reset when you put it back in drive until it actually sees you going a certain mile per hour for so long. And it will actually turn the rear camera off because it's in delay mode that's normal that's how you can set it up through the actual vehicle but i appreciate you guys again thank you for watching it's uh been awesome having you subscribe thumbs up